Horns up and welcome to Headbangers Kitchen. Friends, I would like you to meet India, my new series where I take you on a culinary adventure across the 28 states of India and showcase some of the best meat and seafood dishes this country has to offer. I'll also be including some communities like my own, the Sindhis, who don't have a state but do have a cuisine and a place in this country. So we're starting this series in the state of Maharashtra where I reside, more specifically in the city of Mumbai or Bombay as it used to be called and I've pretty much lived here my entire life. Now we have a saying, Mumbai is a city, Bombay is an emotion and this dish is all Bombay. In fact, it's not even an authentic Maharashtrian dish. It's a dish that was made by a Punjabi gentleman at his restaurant using local ingredients. The dish I am talking about is prawns kolivada. Prawns that are marinated in spices, coated in a batter made from chickpea and corn flour and then deep fried till golden and crispy. Dip them in a delicious green chutney and enjoy. They are the perfect drinking snack and probably one of the most popular Mumbai seafood dishes. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's get cooking. We got to start with our prawns and I'm going to season them with salt and as I realized later, I added a bit too much. Next, some Kashmiri red chilli powder, 2 teaspoons of ginger garlic paste, 2 teaspoons lime juice and then give it all a good mix. And now, just let this marinate for 15 minutes. Next, we get started on the batter with some chickpea flour and some corn flour. Exact measurements will be on the blog post on headbangerskitchen.com. Then in goes some more Kashmiri red chilli powder, some chaat masala, some cumin powder and some turmeric powder. And now we add in some water, a tablespoon at a time and give it all a good mix. Add more water if you need and now I add a bit more chilli powder because I'm missing the sort of quintessential red color of prawns kolivada which I realize I can only get with food color so I add in one drop of red food coloring and this is obviously optional. Also, the batter should not be too thin or too thick. Get it just right like this. Anyway, now in go our prawns and I give them all a good mix. If the batter feels a bit thin, you can add some more besan in for taste or corn flour for crispiness. And now that our prawns are well coated in that batter, it's time to fry them. Now get your oil for deep frying on the stove and heat it up. Use a thermometer to check the temperature or you can throw some batter in to check if it's hot enough and then in go the prawns. Fry them in batches. These will take about 2 minutes to cook. Of course if you have like jumbo prawns then they will take longer but these babies took about 2 minutes and once golden and crispy I remove them from the pan. Then in goes the next batch and let that fry. And once it's done, remove it from the pan. Now it's time to serve those prawns along with some green chutney. You can find the recipe for that on my channel. And then garnish with onion and coriander. And don't forget the lime. And damn, that's one restaurant quality plate of prawns kolivada if I do say so myself. Anyway, let me show you those prawns up close and personal. And of course, you gotta dip it into that chutney and devour those prawns. I could eat the entire plate of these in one go, no problem. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, time for the real taste test. Alright folks, it's time to taste the prawns kolivada and look who's back. Couldn't start the new year without having my dad back on the show because you guys kept asking me, where is your dad? And finally, he's back. Right here, when food is there, I'm around. Awesome. So dad, I have to first ask you, you've lived in Bombay most of your life? Yes. Have you eaten prawns kolivada before? At many places. Okay, and do you like prawns kolivada? I love prawns kolivada. I love a good prawns kolivada. Okay, so without further ado, enough yeah, jibber jabber, let's... let's taste. And of course, you got to do this ceremonial lime squeezing all oh, over the prawns. Man. And we got some green chutney here as well. Well, dig in, Dad. Okay, so I'm going to have the first one without any chutney. Let's see the taste. The batter is the key over here. I'm going to It's good. It's a little high on the sodium, but it's good. I put a little too much salt, guys. I'll put the correct measurements in the recipe on headbangerskitchen.com so you can adjust the seasoning accordingly. I don't know. I just felt like it needed more salt, but now once I'm tasting it, could have done with a little less. Now with the chutney, I hope that doesn't increase further the salt. But 
Hmm. It's good. It's tasty. But I have one thing to say. If you are ever cooking this, just wait at the frying pan itself. The moment it comes off, you are going to eat it. The crunch of the batter is what works. Yeah. Hmm. I guess that's it. It's a good. Does it get the thumbs up from you? Yeah, the horns yeah. up? Thumbs up, horns up, prawns up, everything. Prawns up. <laughs> Excellent. So, prawns up for the prawns koli vada. And we're going to go and finish the rest of these. And we will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Until then, cheers and keep eating. Have a great 2024. Oh, lovely. These videos have been made possible because of the people who support me on Patreon and here on the YouTube channel memberships, so thank you. And if you'd like to join that Headbangers Kitchen Club, the links to my Patreon are below this video, as is the join button for the YouTube channel memberships. Anyway, thank you all for the support.